Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie. I know it's been a minute since I've had a video, but um, life has been <laughs> a little hectic uh, with work. <clears throat> so uh, hopefully this is the start of getting things back to a little bit of normalcy, even though I hate that word. Um, just kind of finding my routine again. Uh, everything is going good. Uh, it's just been hectic, stressful. May just kind of kicked my ass. So there you go. Uh, over Memorial or yeah, Memorial Day weekend, Chic Sparrow had a sale. They have also announced that they were doing a new style of antiquing, which was very similar to the Odyssey. If you have been following me for any amount of time, you know that the Odyssey collection from Chic Sparrow was my absolute total 110% favorite. And I was really, really sad when they stopped making them. But Jennifer Harvey, who owns Chic Sparrow, is starting to do some of the antiquing uh, and like the rings and the dots and the splatters and all that kind of thing. So I have ordered two personal size uh, traveler's notebooks um, to hopefully uh, add to my wallet collection. That's what I use for my wallet. So um, this is the opening of what is hopefully similar to the old Odyssey. So, we'll pull these out. Let me make sure. Um, where is my invoice? Well, there's that. Where would the invoice be? So, when you um, order this, well, there's the warranty card. So, um, there is not an invoice in there, it doesn't feel like. That is the little sticker. I think I've gotten the roses before, but that's okay. I love the stickers. Um, you can fill out this card and keep it for proof of purchase, and that way you know when and what you got. Let me go ahead and pull this out. Again, I love their paper. It makes me happy. Ah, there's my invoice. Okay, so on both of these, I requested... Uh, where is my note? I said antiquing, three splats, three cup rings for each uh, for the leather striations and texture preferred. Now, requesting the striations and texture, they have what they have. But if there is a piece that has more of a striation or texture to it, a lot of times they will try to help and do that. Um, I don't know which one is which, so we're just going to take one at a time. And let's see. Oh, the moment of truth. Oh, yay! Okay, and this is in as much natural light as I can. I have the window that's right there open. This is the Moreland. There, um, she's only doing this on the Darcy leather, or on the Austin leather. So, oh my goodness. Oh, <gasps> so pretty oh my goodness and oh, I got the cascade because again I'm using these as a wallet um oh my goodness okay that is just fantastic I was worried that this one would be um too close to the Penelope um uh I can't remember I think it's Penelope um it's the uh the one that was more purple um, because I have, I think two or three pieces in that. And because this has kind of started to come back, I'm going to go ahead and do a full Odyssey collection and then I'll show you comparisons down the road. But oh, this is so pretty. Um, and again, this is in the personal size. Oh, I love it. Okay. So we're gonna put that one to a side. And then this one is the Darcy. Oh, 
so pretty. Oh yeah. See, this one reminds me of the Athena um, or the Siren. Athena and Siren, uh, well, I think Athena was Siren, but Athena was my all-time favorite. Absolutely, hands down, my favorite. But, um, oh, so three rings and three dots, or splats. So, on the, uh, the website, it, it shows you what to ask for. These are splats, and these are cup rings. Um, I have always just loved the splats. I don't like the shooting stars that have like a splat and then it like goes, it kind of streaks and all of that. I didn't like that. Um, oh, so pretty. Now this feels a little bit thinner leather, but that's okay. Um, I will show you what I'm using right now. This is an Odyssey. Um, it was the dark brown leather, um, although it's very similar. You could see that this has got um, some texture to it. See all the striations in it? This one I bought secondhand, so I did not order this one. Um, let me just pull that out. And this is a insert, a personal insert from... Uh, Oh my gosh, uh, Odd Girl Journals, and I'll link that down below, but she, yeah, uh, you have to just get her when she's putting new ones out, but, um, as you can see, this is the old style, personal, and I got the Cascade because since I'm using this as a wallet, I could actually use that and put certain cards there, which is something I wanted, um, but this is the old style, and it is, oh, I just love this piece of leather. I just cannot even begin to tell you. When I ask for uh, striations, this is what I mean. This piece of leather, this is not done from rolling or anything like that. It is from the, the hide itself. Um, as you can tell, this one is a much more smooth leather. It doesn't have any of the striations in it but that's okay. Um, you know, I can't judge the cow, <laughs> but this one is a dark, this one started out as a darker brown. So, um, and I apologize. I, it's been so long since I've had this. I have absolutely no idea, um, which one it is. Um, if I look it up, I'll try to put it up on the website, but, um, this is a thicker piece of leather and, um, it's interesting because that's got just like a hair, it's a hair taller, which I was hoping for that. Um, again, this is an original Odyssey, but um, oh, so pretty, so pretty. And this one did not have cup rings. Well, actually it had two there, um, none on the front, but three splats and then two cup rings. I always always, when I ordered my own, asked for three cup rings and three dots. It's just, three is my favorite, one of my favorite numbers, and power of three, all that, and so I always did that, but I love how it's different. It seems a little bit different in each one, but oh, oh, I think I'm going to set up the Drummond. Um, God, that's so pretty. I love it. So, what I was hoping is I, I didn't, I have not cut this down. I used to have these in a, uh, a different brand um, for a wallet, but uh, this is the Sneaker Weeks. The regular Weeks is taller. The Sneaker Weeks is a little bit shorter and fits just into a personal sized traveler's notebook. And I wasn't sure how this was going to be cut. Um, as you can see in this one, I, it's, they're pretty similar, even though the leather is a little bit, let's see if this one was any bit, any bit taller. Yep. See the, le the leather is cut just a, a hair taller than the old Odysseys, 
but um, the insert is still not gonna fit. So what I'm gonna have to do um, is cut just a little bit off the top and the bottom so that this will slide in. And it, when I had it set up in here, I didn't have it in that because I wasn't sure if the new ones would come any any with any more room. And I thought, you know, it's just gonna be a few days and I will just see. But this week's is something that just goes with me in my wallet and I never really, I just, it's pen only. I don't do any decorating, anything. It is strictly for notes. And uh, like I have references and stuff in here of different things, my field notes collection, um, the field notes singles that I have, um, my Le Creuset collection, um, just things that, all the spices that we have. And it's just on the go and just jot it down, that kind of thing. If something happens or if I have an appointment somewhere, I usually just write it in here. Um, just quick on the go. And then I transfer it to either my health weeks or my uh, my cousin of Beck when I get home. And then this has all my cards in it and everything for that. But I just wanted something. Um, I, I have really enjoyed having a... Um, personal uh, TN as my wallet and it has worked out really well and with the Chic Sparrow um, pen loops I I cannot even begin to tell you how much I'm so happy that they went back to this um, as you can see this one's been trained that it just fits in when this is full and it you really can't, it doesn't really stick out. But when you first get it, you have it like that. So you just put your pen in, which this is the Hobodichi pen. I think this is from 2021. Um, you just slide it in and fold it over. Put the weeks back in there. And it will eventually just fold over like that. So it just has to be trained. But, oh. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that this option is back. So glad. Um, you can get it where it just has like the edges darkened and no ink splatters or anything like that. But again, I love it. I will warn you that as you can see right here, just as I was putting that in, it does kind of get marked up, but it does kind of rub out but this is a, this doesn't, hasn't gone through the, the process that this one did. Um, this one was, I think, tumbled when they did the Odyssey. It was very labor intensive. And I think that's why Jennifer got away from that. Um, and so this one is much more smooth. But um, as you can tell, I am not precious with my traveler's notebooks. And this one, let me see if I can get it close enough. This one has marks and dings and things like that because just getting thrown in my bag. But to me, it adds character to it. And as you can t see over time, the uh, on the Odyssey, and I think it had to do with the, the different um, processes that the, this particular leather, leather went through. But as you can see, this kind of faded into the leather, whereas this is very sharp. And you can see all the different spots. Um, and so that's kind of the comparison uh, as the leather kind of gets worn in. So you can see this one's probably, I don't know, probably four to five years old, I would imagine. Um, again, I got this one secondhand, so I don't know, but um, uh, but you can see the difference in the, in the crispness of the splatters and how they just become part of the leather. Oh, I still, still love this piece. And it still smells, it smells like your favorite pair of, 
of boots or your favorite handbag. It just gets better with age. And I, the minute that I saw, and thank you whoever tagged me in the Chic Sparrow 2.0 group uh, to let me know, because again, May has been hectic. Um, everybody knows that I love Odyssey. And so to be able to have this is so, so exciting for me. So it comes in the, only in the Austin leather right now. So this is the Drummond, which is a, a, a maroon. It's, uh, it's got a more red hue to it. And hopefully the natural lighting is kind of giving you that. But it's more of a red. But it's not the bright, bright red of the Prometheus. So it's, a, it's more of a darker, like, crimson red. Um, the Prometheus was quite literally a bright, bright red. And when I do my uh, overview of my Odyssey collection, you'll see that. Um, and I'll try to go back and see how how old some of the ones that I have. Uh, because in Chic Sparrow, you can track your, your orders. Uh, and so I can kind of give you the age on it. And most of mine have been stored on a shelf in my study or in my studio. And it's what I used to film uh, when I could actually get into my studio, uh, which I will again this year, I promise. Um, but it's, it, it's not got direct sunlight or anything like that, but I don't, I don't put these away and hide them in their um, little bags or anything like that. I just don't um, because these were meant to be used and that's why I love them. And uh, most of my bags are built around using a personal size, whether it be uh, a traveler's notebook or a ring's. Uh, I used the file effects, uh, personal rings for a very long time as Y wallet, um, and then decided to go back to using a TN. But uh, this is the perfect size for me, and it it just has enough room that I can do whatever I want to do. And then I will cut this down so that this slips in. And and I'm I'm sure some of you are wondering why I don't put it on the string. It with the um, how this is set up with the signatures, um, which that is the sections of pages. And I don't know if you guys can tell, um, you really can't in this one, but this has small signatures. And in the Hobonichi, they are actually hand sewn in. And so if you put it on a string, especially the sneaker weeks, it will start rubbing into the spine of the weeks. Um, with the, uh, this is my health weeks. Uh, these actually have a hard cover and the, um, the signatures are protected by that. I don't know. It's, it's just a more solid cover. This is more just cardstock. And so, and you can even see into there the the ribs of the signatures. Uh, so it just kind of rubs into that and will eventually break that down. And I just don't like that. I would much rather just cut this a little bit and then not have to worry about the uh, structure getting damaged. So that is my new wallet. It's the Drummond Austin with the antiquing. And it has three rings and three splats. And uh, it is gorgeous. I am so absolutely over the moon that I ordered these two. I love it. You also can get this in the Emma. The Emma is a lighter, um, more natural leather. But just be warned, they use like a, a yellowing kind of edging and I just didn't like the look of that. I know once it starts getting more tanned and, and used, um, it'll blend in, but it just didn't, I did not like the original or the, the initial photos of any of the Emmas. Um, once her crew gets more adept at doing this again, um, then I might think about it. 
and then you have also the the Moreland, which is the black. They don't offer this for the black because obviously you wouldn't see it. At one point in time, right before they stopped doing the Odysseys, they offered silver on the black, but the silver, I don't think, just worked for it. It was beautiful, but I don't think it lasted. So, um, so she's only offering this in the Drummond, the Darcy, the, and the Emma, not the black leather um, of the Austin. But hopefully, um, eventually, they will come up with a way of doing this or adding more colors to the Austin. Uh, we'll see. But right now, I am completely over the moon with these. So there you have it. My old Odyssey and side by side with the Darcy. And there you go. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and let me know down below if you're going to try any of these out. Uh, I figured I would try the wallets first um, or the personals first and then I may uh, go and possibly get another Drummond uh, but in a larger size or maybe in a week's. We'll see. But so far this works out perfect for me. Again, the, the uh, Hobonichi Sneaker Weeks fits perfectly in this. Oh, that's one of the things I wanted to show you. I forgot. The difference is, oh, here, I'll show it in this one that doesn't have it. Um, you can see, even, even though the, the Weeks has uh, uh, the cover on cover on it, you can see there is a height difference there. And so, if you tried to put a regular weeks in this, it sits up on the top just a little bit. And so it, I, and I have tried it, it will not fit in this at all because obviously the sneaker weeks I'm gonna have to cut down. But uh, even if you just slipped it in, there is just a hairline that sits up above and sticks out and I'm just not about that kind of life. <laughs> so, there you go. My wallet <sighs> in personal size with the antiquing. And I'm so happy this is back. I am so, so happy this is back. I hope you guys have a great um, rest of your day. And I will talk to you soon. I promise. Bye.